don't know where exactly this um, devotion finds you, maybe at work, uh, maybe at home, I don't know. I just um, believe that God has a word for us, and I think that we ought to take time for him, so I appreciate you uh, listening to these devotions. I hope you listen every day. Uh, we want to stay connected. Uh, we want you to grow in the Lord. Uh, we want you to be exactly what God wants you to be, and that's our prayer. That's that's our, our uh, goal as pastor to equip the saints, and this is just one of the ways during these crazy times we live uh, that we're trying to reach out to our, our brothers and sisters and Lord and be a blessing. We're going today to 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. A verse that won't be a stranger to you, it says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Our God is an all-sufficient God. Paul learned that. <clears throat> That's the whole point of, of uh, the thorn in the flesh. God allowed that in Paul's life, that he would be humble after God had given him so many great revelations. He had written two-thirds of the New Testament. It would have been easy to be puffed up. But God wanted him to be humble so he could be usable, and God gave him the thorn in the flesh. Paul didn't understand it. He, he went to God three different times and still... God said, no, my grace is what I want you to learn. My grace is sufficient for you. And God wants us to learn that too. God wants us to learn that the grace of God is sufficient. That's why he allows things to come into our lives. God allows those, some things to come in our lives to humble us. He allows things to come in our lives to drive us to our knees. He allows things to come in our lives to change our direction. He allows things to come in our lives to get us to turn to him, to trust him, to lean on him. Uh, to, to find our refuge in him. He he wants us to learn to trust him, to turn to him, to depend on him. After all, he is an all-sufficient God. In him, we find a love that can never be fathomed. In him, we find a life that can never die. In him, we find a peace that can never be fully understood. In him, we find a hope that can never be disappointed. In him, we find a light that can never be distinguished. In him, we find a strength that can never be overcome. And in him, we find resources that can never be exhausted. Listen to these verses. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Have you lived that verse? Have you, have you been under such pressure, been under such burden that you had no choice but to bring it to Christ? And what did you find out when you did that? I'll tell you what you found out. He found out that his grace is sufficient. It really is. Listen to this one. Cast all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Oh, thank you, that verse, Lord. Thank you that we don't have to carry all this ourselves, but you carry it for us. How about this one? God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. We can turn to him in trouble. He's always there. He's an ever-present help. He's always on the job, always looking out for us, always doing what's best for us. And then this one, thank God for Hebrews 13, 5, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. God's faithful. His eye is constantly upon us. His love always overshadows. His grace never leaves us. His power undergirds us and his truth girds us. He is all we need. Someone has said that when you get to that place in your life that, that God is all you have, that's when you find out that God is all you need. You ever been there? He is our all-sufficient Savior. We can trust him. We can believe him. We can rely on him. His grace is sufficient, and it's only in our weakness that we get to know it. God, help us to realize our weakness and trust you and your grace in our lives. It's available every single day. The grace you need is available from God Almighty. It's by faith. Pray with me. Father, thank you for the grace that strengthens us every single day. God, you never, we, 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 we never run out of grace. You never run out of grace. But God, you're always there for us, and you are all sufficient. Whatever we need, we can find in you. God, you don't want your children suffering. You want them to know the joy of the Lord. God, you don't want us going through hard times, so you strengthen us in those hard times. So God, I pray that you'd help us to turn to you. Help us to learn how to trust you. 
God, help that to become our first step, not a last resort. But every day to take up our cross, count ourselves dead, and trust our God. Lord, use us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Go in the grace of the Lord today. It's sufficient because he is.